Hey, this is Dan Hosey, and uh, some people have been asking exactly how I get questions into Moodle from a spreadsheet. Uh, so I made a physicsteachers.ninehub.com website. Uh, I have some examples of questions. You can see here, these are all Regents Physics exams from New York State. And you can see I have the questions in as images, and then you can choose them, and it has the answers and all that. So how does, how does one go about... Um, doing that. Well, if you were to go to the course and you were to look at the file that I imported them from, you would see that it is a big text file. And it's a text file that in another video I showed you how to change these links. These are really simple questions I uh, made in the GIF format. I named each question according to a naming convention, which was easy because they were New York State Regents physics questions with a year, month, question number. Uh, they are all just simply one image, although you could have text here for the image. Uh, you could have text in for the choices as well, or images. These are just text, one, two, three. Um, in the GIF format, you've got to be a little careful. Uh, certain HTML characters I don't think will go through. The GIF format does not, unfortunately, support the calculated format, so we might have to adapt this approach for XML, and I'm doing a little bit of research on that. Uh, but you can see it can become a pretty big file pretty quickly. Um, every time you see this line dot category, it shifts the category that these are going to be placed in. When you re-import it, it will put these questions in that category. If the category is not already in your course, it will um, create it for you. And the images will only work if you have these images stored in the location you set it to. So you'll have to change this part to match your course number. But that doesn't answer how I did it. Um, this is a file. At first it just looks like a list or a database of the question IDs, which I made. Topics, I can show you how that came through. Answers. Uh, and something I call tags, which is what I use to get the uh, actual categories. These are parent categories. Um, so this is something I made a couple years ago in Excel, and uh, most people don't realize you can do this in Excel, but you can have user forms, and, and I've got objects behind the scenes that, that do things. But let me show you how this works. So I'll quote unquote start an exam, I have it with all the questions, so here are all the questions, and then what I do is I click on a question give it a second and you can see my intent was that students could use this as sort of like a review almost game and they could rate the difficulty and it's all part of a bigger project but what we're really interested in there's two things I want to show you uh, one uh, you can actually edit the tags pretty easily more easily than maybe in in, uh, in Moodle so if I do this that'll put in the horizontal category this will take it away and these are the parent categories if they're not there. Clicking this makes that happen, uh, etc. What we're really interested in is the button right here. What this does is it will go through every question that's been selected and generate the Moodle uh, text necessary to import it into Moodle in GIFT format. So if I go like this, give it a few seconds. it will generate this text. This is just the beginning of the text. It's actually stored in a, in a file, the same kind of file that you would uh, import into Moodle, and it does it automatically. And you can see you're basically stringing certain strings together. In this case, it's really straightforward because you've got a question ID that's going to be unique. It's based on the exam number. The image tag will always be there. It's always a single question that is named according to the ID number. So it does that automatically. It gives you your choices. And from the correct answer, it will know which one to place the equal sign in front of telling you which is correct. The GIF format doesn't give you as much control as Moodle uh, XML does, but Moodle XML is a little bit more intensive, though I think this approach could be uh, adjust f adjusted uh, for that. So just a little bit of how this works, and you know, there's some bloat here in terms of the, the, the code. Uh, if you've never hit Alt F11 in Excel, it will bring up the VBA uh, editor, and each of these objects is a sheet. I have all sorts of forms. Some are used, some aren't. I have modules where code's recorded. Um, 
one of those I made called reporting has a uh, function here called Moodle export. And what I do is I loop through all of the, and these are objects I created, but I loop through all of the questions that are currently selected. And from that question, the question is an object I made that keeps track of um, what category is supposed to be in tags, things like that. And this generates the text necessary to create the category. You then loop through all of the questions, and from that, the question object has a method called Moodleify, which I made up. Um, sounds like less of a word than Moodle. And that will generate the uh, text that goes in the Git file just for that question. And it basically just keeps stringing it together again and again and again and again. So to see what this Moodleify is, you go over to question. And question has lots of different properties. Uh, some of this has nothing to do with what we might be doing in Moodleifying uh, questions that other people might create. Some of this is just pertinent to the way I did it for these regions questions. But you have different things like I gave it properties of year, month, problem. Makes it easy to generate uh, ID numbers automatically. Um, but if you go down to Moodleify, it's actually pretty short. It's really simple. The string is the uh, this two dots, the ID of the question, which was determined up here based on the month, year, date. Uh, the opening tag for an image, we're centering it, although you can make that left, right, etc. SRC, and then the actual link. This here uh, is stored right here, which is the link to where you're going to uh, host whatever site it is you're on. That's the part that would get replaced um, in any given person's site. Uh, and then here it, it puts the uh, Answer choices there, again, here, the choices are rather trivial, one, two, three, and four, but these could be longer bits of text. Uh, I haven't expanded uh, to deal with uh, more complicated HTML or putting questions and uh, question images in here, but I, I suppose you could. Uh, but this is the basic idea here. Uh, you could use Excel or VBA to regenerate all of the file necessary to do the question importing. So by keeping it in one place, you're not at the mercy of uh, a Moodle and things breaking as they change versions, or um, maybe you want to recategorize the questions. It's actually kind of tedious to do. You got to do them one at a time in Moodle. This would give you a way to do it uh, pretty quickly. So as of right now, I wouldn't say this is at a point where uh, I can just hand it over to somebody and they can use it. Uh, but it is the kind of thing where if you're interested and you have some information or even just ideas about how you would generate questions, um, let me know. I'm a little busy right now. I'm, I'm certainly willing to entertain. I might have a little time to work on it, but during the summer I'll have more time like the rest of us. Uh, I also envision this, even though GIFT does not support calculated questions, you could use this kind of method to generate uh, randomized questions that we've randomized through Excel or through VBA here and just generate sets of problems. So you might make a tag or a category that represents uh, Coulomb's law, solving for Q1, and uh, generate 50 questions that uh, would go into that category. Uh, that might be one way to, to do it. Uh, if you're still listening to this, you're probably somebody who's pretty uh, interested in this stuff. Um, I wish I had more time right now, but if somebody would like to know more, uh, let me know.